my God. <laughs> Front page of the Tory graph. Boris Johnson's billionaire rag. Tax the rich. That's one way to get people's backs up. What does that mean? They don't like it. <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like it. You know, February 2020, just as the pandemic was starting, I went to America to, to go for the elections. Uh, but I, I was standing in the hockey stadium in Durham, in, um, in New Hampshire. There was 10,000 people. I spoke with Cornell West, Nina Turner, saw Bernie. The Strokes played New York City cops as real cops were trying to get them off the stage at the end. <laughs> it was amazing. It was an incredible time when, when Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez walked out. The crowd went absolutely wild. Me more than anyone else. Forward, she cried. Forward. We move forward. It's like a dream, the American dream. She's the future. She's now, Chucky. Tax the rich. That's it. That's the message. She said the medium is the message. AOC is incredible. She just tweeted just now. She said, femininity has the power to make the world talk. And if that is true, maybe it also has the power to make the world organise, vote, think critically and consider the well-being of their neighbours. Just now, here in this country, they have cut £20 from the poorest in a pandemic that has seen the richest amongst us increase their wealth by over a hundred billion increase. That's a hundred billion more. That's not only wrong, it's unforgivable. It's time. AOC went to the ball and kicked it into the fucking stratosphere. She's the one. So it's the chance to change everything. Tax the rich!